back to the airport. She's leaving us today. And giving Paul the most wonderful birthday present a son-in-law could have. I'm leaving. <laughs> But today is also a big day, as you heard. It is Paul's birthday, or as he says, just another day. It is just another day. I have other theories, but your mom doesn't like unpositive thoughts. <laughs> How old are you today? Positive thoughts. Yeah. What? How old are you today? 28. And how do you feel? Like every other day. Shit. Still the same. Still the same? Still the same. Just now I gotta remember to tell people I'm 28 and not 27. I hate that. The first couple, like, months after your birthday, I can never remember how old I actually am. I got a happy birthday from the nurse lady on the phone. Oh. Took her a minute to figure it out because I started laughing. And she was dumb. Because she's like, when's the baby's birthday? Oh, how about I push on the gas pedal? I'm like, 10, 25, 20, 13. Okay. And what'd she say? She has something stupid. I'm like, she's only a week old lady. <laughs> yes, yes she is. I'm like, wow. That's the job I need. Just BS people. I'd be good at it. It's normal. It's normal. Your kid's arm fell off? That's normal. They probably say it. Oh, it's normal for him to feel that way. His arm just fell off. Very good. So She's still sleeping. Out? No. You're fine, Cindy. You're fine. Let me out. Oop, I see an eyeball. Oh, there's another eyeball. Oh, now they're all gone. Bye bye, little baby. You're not taking her out, are you? Okay. Oh, that was awful. But oh yeah, my kisses are awful. Ah, ah. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> it was an awful shock. Let me put it that way. She wasn't prepared for it. Hey, what's going on, guys? So we just got back from dropping off her mother. One set of in-laws down. My parents come on Tuesday, so it'll probably be Cindy's turn to get annoyed. Um, I don't know. My parents are a little, a little laid backer, ish. Um, hers are through spurts. Her mother's antsy; she likes to do things. Oh. So, and her dad, he's kind of, he's good too. So it's not that big of a deal, but. Yeah. She did a fantastic job. She did. She cleaned up my living room. I mean, it doesn't look like it used to. It's a walkthrough. But all that stuff right there that's in the camera, I'm going to move that over to the corner over there where I originally wanted it, but I didn't we didn't ha I didn't have time to do it from helping Cindy and the hospital and all that, so I don't mind people helping, but when they get a little overboard, I get annoyed very easily because I don't like people touching my stuff, let alone me. My wife, I didn't like her touching me, but you know when things are when things are nice, you kind of deal with it. <laughs> Hence why we have a baby. I put little mist in her cocoon. If you can see it. Little bouncy thing has hangies. I made this cocoon. It's 
So it's got little pink buttons all the way down. And it's a yarn. Very pretty. And she's kind of just lounging right now on her chair. Very chill baby. So we are getting ready to go to bed tonight. We had a pretty big day today. Um, we dropped my mom off at the airport early afternoon um, after Laura and Kaylee visited. And today was also a big day for a mister over here. Because it was his birthday. So, happy birthday, honey. Mm-hmm. Just another mm -hmm. day. Did you have a good birthday? Yep. Anything special about it? Mm. I got rid of your mother. But, you know, just the baby and you. That's good enough. And I got to play video games. So, that's good enough for me. Yeah, I left him all in all afternoon because I had a headache. I laid down and... Well, I was going to watch a movie, but that didn't work out either because I had a headache. But, I tried. So, I guess this is a good night, guys. Hope you had a good day. Good night. Night. Say good night a little bit.